Hello, my name is Colin McNaughton. I'm a technical marketing manager for Ansible Automation Platform, and today I'm going to be talking about the Ansible Automation Platform installer, which is being released with Ansible Automation Platform 1.2. So with the release of Ansible Automation Platform 1.2, the Automation Platform Installer is leveraged to install multiple on-premises components of the Ansible Automation Platform. This includes the web UI, API, and database that were present in the previous version of the installer and now adds the newly available on-premises offering of Private Automation Hub. Now, there are several key advantages to this approach. Uh, one, we can leverage simple inventory groups to drive the layout of on-premises components, which are described in an Ansible inventory file. Additionally, existing Ansible Automation Platform customers should find the process very familiar as the installer for the UI, API, and database platform components leveraged this installer previously. Additionally, the same installer is used to upgrade all of these components, all of these on-premises components for the automation platform. So let's take a look at the new installer. I've already gone ahead and pulled down the latest build of the automation platform installer, and I've also extracted the archive here. Listing out the contents of the installer should look pretty familiar to current automation platform subscribers. We can see the setup script, the install playbook, the inventory file. Um, the inventory file specifies which nodes should be installed as a part of what component of the platform. We can see that the first group is clearly responsible for installing the UI, API, and database components of the platform known collectively as Ansible Tower. I can spy, specify multiple nodes here for a clustered installation, and I can also name a node for external database installation. The group just below the tower group is new. The Automation Hub group specifies which node or nodes within my environment will serve as my private automation hub. At the moment, I'm not able to specify multiple nodes in the Automation Hub group, and HA Automation Hub is not available at this time. If I want to install multiple private automation hubs, I'd, I'd simply run this installer again with a modified inventory for each new private automation hub. It's also important to note that private automation hub and Ansible Tower cannot be installed on the same node. The installer wouldn't even let you. Now, after adding in my environment specifics, I'm able to run this installer. First, I want to call out a couple of parameters specific to private automation hub that have been documented in this inventory file. As stated before, this installer can also be used to upgrade the on-premises components of the automation platform. By default, however, Private Automation Hub will not be upgraded unless this flag is set to true. Additionally, there is a feature within Automation Hub that requires admin approval before allowing users to upload collections. Now, by default, approval is required, though we can disable this approval step if we set this parameter to false before we run our setup.sh. And that's it. Now all we have left to do is actually run the installer itself. So I would simply do something like this. Um, so I'm using Ansible become because the, the users that I've uh, configured on the hosts are not root users, so they'll have to elevate their privileges first. And then we pass in the path to the setup.sh script. Everything you see after that are just extra flags that I need to specify for this internal build that I'm using. So we can kick that off. It's going to run the setup.sh script and it's going to start pre-flight checks to ensure that this, the nodes can actually um, are actually physically capable of, of running, the, uh, running the software that we're installing. Now once the automation platform installer has finished, I should have fully functional UI, API, and database components available as well as my very own private automation hub. Thank you for watching.